Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. Hello all. Welcome to Ganesh AS Academy. This is the special session. In this session, we are going to discuss about the previous year prelims UPSC questions. Okay. So in this session, we are mostly going to discuss about the economic questions. Okay. So this session is purely focused on how to approach the upcoming prelims. Okay. And also how to find the key within the question. Okay. And how to evaluate the pattern of the question and go for a uh, answering the question okay first one are uh, which of the question you have to focus next one are which of the question you have to focus all these things will be discussed here okay so let's begin the session okay consider the following statement okay most of the india's external debt is owned by the government entities okay all the all of India's external debt is denominated in US dollar. Okay. See. Key for this question is. Okay. See. Uh, there is a certain uh, strategy followed by the UPSC aspirants. Okay. So the strategy is uh, if the statement is containing all. Okay. Or only. Okay. Or mostly. Okay. These all only mostly all these statements are extreme statement okay so if the statement is containing all only or a mostly okay such a drastic level or extreme level statements okay so extreme level way words within that statement means that statement will be mostly wrong okay that mostly means 99.999 percentage that statement may wrong might be wrong okay but still there is a possibility for 0.0001 percent that statement may also write okay but mostly the UPS aspirant follow the strategy of this 99.99 percentage okay so by the way can also you can answer this question okay so the statement is containing all of the India's external debt is denominated in the US dollar okay so all which means it is an extreme statement okay so such a way also you can eliminate the statement too okay or else think okay if you have a basic knowledge about the economy means you can easily answer this question okay consider that india is having a global level trade okay which means india is going trade with us germany so African countries also, okay, also they have a huge trade relationship with the South Asian, Southeast Asian countries also, okay, and also they have the trade with Russia, China, okay, so even South Korea, North Korea, okay, in such a scenario, how all the India's external debt is denominated in the US dollar, okay, and also think that India is a member of IMF, okay. In that, there is a certain provision for SDR, okay, special drawing rights, okay. So, that special drawing right is not at all a currency, okay. So, the special drawing right is a right to getting, getting certain debt money, okay. You have the right to borrow a money, okay. That borrowing money may be in any currency, okay. You can eat, even buy it in a US dollar, okay, or else in a euro, or else the British pound, okay. So, whatever means in the special drawing rights, you can have the rights to borrow a certain money, okay. So, in such a scenario, how will you claim that all the India's external debt is denominated in the US dollar, okay. So, in such a way also, you can say that the statement too is wrong, okay. If you have the knowledge about the forex of India and you have the knowledge about the IMF, and if you have the knowledge about the STR means, you can say that all the India's external debt is in denominated in the US dollar is wrong. Okay. So, by the way, you can say that the statement too is wrong. Okay. So, this is the key. Next. Most of the India's external debt is owned by the government entity. Okay. Consider that. Okay. So, uh, India's government entities. Okay. Now, India's government entities means Indian Railway okay and then bsnl okay and then uh, indian oil corporation okay 
and then uh, there are many government entities okay so all these government entities is borrowing money from us okay for example okay most of the india's external debt is owned by the government entities okay so in such a scenario how you will say that india is a sovereign country which means most of this borrowing is from the external sector okay most of the borrowing from the foreign means that foreign have the huge control over the india's economic activities okay so by the way india won't act in their own manner okay so india may act as a puppet for that nation okay but in reality this is not happening okay so by that way also you can say that this statement is wrong okay you can also say it is most of her. okay all of her. okay by that way statement or by the way also you can say that both the statement are wrong okay but you can go with the knowledge means you can say that still this statement is wrong because if most of the government entities borrow from the external sector means it means foreign countries means how that india is india will run in the independent manner how the indian economy will run in an independent manner okay so such a way also you can say that the statement one is wrong okay so by that itself you can say that the answer is neither one nor two okay so this is how you have to eliminate the statement okay so there are various way to eliminate the statement and go for an answer okay so it is not a direct question okay so it is actually indirect question to find the answer you can think in n number of ways to go for an answer okay so such a way the question will be made okay okay see this is the data from the pib see the us dollar denominated debt remains the largest component not all the component the statement says that all of the india's debt external debt are only in the all of the india's debt are in the us dollar but it is not largest component of the external debt is in the us dollar it is 54% okay and then uh, indian rupees debt is 30% and sdr is 5.7% and japanese yen is 5.6% and euro is 2.6% 2.9% okay so such a way this statement the second statement is wrong okay then see general government borrowing okay it is 124 billion okay non governmental borrowing is 481 billion which means the private sectors are borrowing lot more from the foreign countries okay foreign players okay not the government entities okay this is also from the pib okay so with the data or with the knowledge you can answer okay or else with the pure basic level knowledge you can answer or else with the strategies of 99% or 0.1% that way also you can answer okay so this is the various way to answer the question okay thank you